This is where we left off in the previous video. We saw that plus and minus separate the terms and multiplication and division do not separate the terms of an expression. Let's look at a few expressions and find out how many terms they have. Here's the first expression, 4 plus x. We can see a plus sign here. It means that this expression has two terms, 4 and x. Here's the second expression, 7 minus x minus y. We have two minus signs here. It means that this expression has three terms, 7, x and y. Remember, plus and minus separate the terms. What about 7x divided by y? This expression involves multiplication and division. And as we know, they do not separate the terms. This is just one term. What is 7 in this case? It's called the coefficient of x by y, the coefficient of this. How many terms do you think are present in 4x minus y plus 7? This is interesting. 4x is just one term since it involves multiplication. y and 7 are the other terms which are separated by a minus and a plus sign. So this expression has three terms in all. 4x, y and 7. What about 7xy plus 20y minus 3z plus 8? One term, two, three and four. Four terms in all. Each of these is one term. Here's the last expression, 8xyz. Since it involves only multiplication, this is just one single term. Even though there are three variables and a constant, this is a single term.